<clears throat> All right, pre-algebra. We're going to go over guided practice and independent practice for uh, the angle relationships in a triangle. And we're going to start with guided practice. It's on page 202. I'd like you to follow along, try to work these problems out. And uh, Mrs. Morani will start and stop the video as needed. All right, so let's look at what we have. First, we have problem uh, 13, which if you look on the board, it says complete the logic to show the sum of measures of angles Y and Z equals the measure of angle W. Here's Y, here's Z, here's angle W, and we also have angle X. So if we look inside this triangle, we have X, Y, and Z, and as interior angles, we have an exterior angle of W. We know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. And then we also know that the sum of a linear pair is supplemental, which also means it's going to be 180 degrees. So we have two, two things we can write. X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180, and W plus X is equal to 180. And then we need to, we're going to prove this by doing some algebraic calculations. So we're going to solve uh, this side. We're going to solve this equation for y plus z. So I subtract x from both sides. I get y plus z is equal to 180 minus x. This, uh, this other equation, w plus x equal 180, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to subtract x from both sides and we end up with W is equal to 180 minus X. In both of these situations, 180 minus X is equal to both W and equal to X plus uh, Y plus Z. I'm sorry, X plus Y, and this will be Y plus Z. mistake as I was doing it. All right, so both of them equal to each other. So y plus z is equal to 180, and, X, and w is equal to 180. So if they're both equal to 180 minus x, then they have to be equal to each other. So w is equal to x plus w is equal to y plus z, right? So we fix that problem. All right, so that's the algebraic proof. If two things are equal to the same thing, then they have to be equal to each other. And the explanation of how that works is we're gonna look at this triangle here. This triangle, there are two triangles. There's triangle A, B, C, and then we have this sector D, E that's bisecting this triangle, giving us a similar triangle of uh, D, E, C. And the way we're gonna prove that, the way we're gonna prove that is that angle ACB, angle ACB is in both of these triangles. It's in here and it's in this triangle here. It goes from here, here to here, right? So that's one set of congruent angles, right? In the problem, it says given, right? It said in the diagram, angle ABC is congruent to angle DEC. So angle ABC congruent to angle DEC is given in the problem. So that gives us two pairs of congruent angles. Anytime we have two pairs of congruent angles, we know we have a similar triangle because the third triangle, the third angle of that triangle has to be congruent also, right? So this proves that these two triangles, ABC and DEC are congruent to each other. Right? So now, how are we going to use that to figure out a problem? If we had the same triangle, but in this triangle, it's the same triangle, but all these lines are roads. Except for A and B, where, where A, B would be, there's a pond. Right? And we want to know the length across this pond. In order to figure that out, we just look and since Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC. All the sides are proportional. 
because we know that we can measure A to C and D to C and then set those up to form a, uh, form a ratio, right? So we're going to divide AC by DC. And once we do that, we have that ratio, we can just find the measure of DE, since they all have to have the same ratio, we'll find the measure of DE, just measure it with a, how, if it's a road, we probably drive it. And then multiply that distance by the ratio that we found, dividing AC by uh, DC. And when we multiply that, that would give us a distance across AB. All right, that's the guided practice. It's just three problems. Uh, so the independent practice, we're gonna put that all to use. Again, everything we've known, we're gonna to put to use. And we're gonna look at these angles in this triangle. All right, so in this case, we have these triangles. And I want you to get a good look at them, so I'm gonna put them on, on the screen here too, All right? So in these triangles, we're using similar triangles to explain why the slope M, and you know that M always means slope, is the same between any two distinct points on the line shown below. So what we need to look at is understanding that AB, AB is parallel to DE. Line segment AB and line segment DE are parallel to each other. And BC, BC is parallel to EF. And to do that, we're going to find some congruent angles in this triangle. So I did these in two different colors because I want you to see what happens. If I extend this line out this way, right? And I extend this line out the same way. I take this line, I extend it out the same way. Now I essentially have this, two parallel lines with a transversal between them, right? So I now have this transversal and I have these two angles. I have ED, I have DEF, right? Right? ABC and DEF are going to be uh, congruent, right? So since they're parallel to each other, these are parallel. Now I have this angle here, C, and this angle here, F. C and F are congruent because F they are, C and F are corresponding angles. And then I also can find this angle here, right? And this, this, this triangle, F -E -D, the triangle itself is going to be congruent. So we have A, B, C, and D, e, F have two pairs of congruent angles. And since they are there's two pairs of, of congruent angles, they have to be congruent themselves, right? Because we have th this, this angle here, we have this angle here that are the same, and then we have these two angles that are the same. So if this is the same and this is the same, that means this angle here and this angle here have to be the same inside the triangle. The external angles have to be the same. So that gives us this angle here and this angle here are the same, and these two angles are the same. So we have two sets of congruent angles. If we have two sets, we therefore have a third set that makes them similar. And then the last thing we're looking at is if we look at the sides. Corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. So if I have AB over BC, AB divided by BC, that's the same as DE divided by EF. If I have that and they have the same ratio, they're going to be, as long as they have the same ratio, that means that their slope is the same, right? Because that's all slope is. It's the rise over the run. AB is the rise, BC is the run, DE is the rise, EF is the run, right? So we have the rise over the run in both cases, and we know that M is equal to, slope M is equal to rise over run, 
And since our rise or the run are the same fraction, then we have to have similar triangles and the same slope. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Uh, there is no homework, but you will have a quiz on Monday. I would recommend that you go over your notes and have a wonderful day. And Michael, sit down, be quiet. I had to say that, you knew that. All right, and uh, you guys, uh, tell Mrs. Morani thanks for being here for you. Uh, she, she's been doing a great job for us all year long, and we really appreciate her. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys on Monday.